Plays on really quickly. Straight down the guts of Blunston Arena. Right into Clarence's 50. Grace is there as he interfered with. He wasn't, said the umpire. But Clarence get the goal through. Trent Standard. And they are on fire here early, Clarence. They lead 2-1 to North Launceston. One behind. A great start from the Roos. Moves it quickly to Weberly. Oh, yeah. oh, the kick's found wanting. He finds Bird of the opposition. Bert turns and looks forward. And all he's got is Couch. Couch strolls on in and puts it through for North Launceston's first. That's a give me. Well, the oh. captain wouldn't be happy with that. Oh, Renault. more drama here, boys. He's going to have another kick. So that is unforgivable oh, stuff dear. on the last line for Clarence. Oh, but all of a sudden, we've got two goals. And Tom Couch makes no mistake. So what a piece of play for North Launceston. Two quick goals. And it's all tied up here at Blunstead Arena. Can't get it out. Here's O'Brien, though, really cleverly. Balks around his player, drives it long. The man home is there. And goes inside 50. Good mark taken now by Siggins. He'll go back and have a shot. He loads up Sam Siggins. Looks pretty good off the boot. It's coming back. And I think he's kicked it. Sam Siggins has scored Clarence's third goal. They move out to 3 2 21 to North on session. 2 1 13. 80 minutes gone, first quarter. Big handball over the top to the captain in Whitford who drives it inside 50. And a great mark taken there by Burt. He wants to play on quickly. He's got his coach on the run, Tom Couch. He gobbles up the mark. Interfered with as well. But the mark will be paid. Tommy Couch will go back and have a shot directly in front. He lines up. Splits the middle. Gets his third. So Tom Couch gets North Launceston back to within one point on the eve of quarter time. But North Bonnie get the advantage of the football. Ends up with Clarence though. Here's Grace. He gets the kick away inside 50 now. Oh, clever play from the Roos. Here's a chance for their next goal. It is a beauty. So Clarence Pegg one back here at Bloodstone Arena. On the far side for Standen. He gets it and goes. Just nudges a little ball for Holmes. Holmes ignores the runner. He's got Jones free. Ignores him too. Goes in for Wall, who's all on his own. He turns to goal. Has a shot and puts it through. Wade Wall with a sausage roll here at Bloodstone Arena. The Roos regain the lead. Shoveled back for Fisher. Just over the top. Oh, there's a bit of tunnel ball action. It's clever, Clarence wasn't it? Did well there, North on Sesson, but that, that wasn't their best work. Here's Siggins now. Gets the handball over the top. And now a chance for the Roos to go along again. It goes right inside 50. One on one contest in the square. The mark's been taken. So Clarence will go back. It's going to be a tough angle potentially, but they're going to have a shot on goal. The coach, Jeremy Weberly, goes straight, goes high, and gets Clarence's seventh of the game. And their lead now increases even further to 15 points. Over the top to Walsh. They've got runners everywhere, North on Seston. A dinky ball inside 50. Couch out in front. A top mark, and he'll go back. Comes on in. Got a decent piece of it. And never looked like missing. Tom Couch with goal number four. Fires up North Lonnie here in quarter number two. Loads up Castle, no, he plays on, goes around his man. Handball's off to Chambers. Chambers goes on the right and gets the goal for Clarence. So Gully Chambers gets Clarence's eighth goal and that is a much needed one right on the stroke of half time. It goes, one by Wall, back with a ruse, only for an instant. Whitford oh. misses his target, O'Brien strolls in. As a look at goal, it's bouncing. <laughs> oh, goal time for the Roos. A quick one out of the middle, and they're on song here at the pouch. He finds Bennett. Cox Goodyear with a slide, gathers inside. Oh, oh it's late contact. That's, that's 50 metres. That's, that's got to be. It was Walsh who took the mark, and he came in very late, O'Brien. 21 point lead the Roos, that's about to be cut to 15 thanks to Mark Walsh here. and as you said Brown he makes no mistake from the easiest of shots. Can't quite gather, Donnelly on hands and knees, hands out, it's Palmer Hughes with good use by a foot, finds Blackburn, he can get it onto Webberley who's oh. just got the goals to look at and Webberley marks and he'll go back. This goal is uh, brought about from his terrific play on the boundary line and good presence of mind from Blackburn as well. So Weberly, with a bit of a hobble, puts it through the sticks. Right about. Now there it is. 
Aiden Grace directly in front. The stutter works for him usually. He loads up, splits the middle, and Clarence lead this one by four goals. Wouldn't it be a turning point if they can move to 77? They've kicked it away here, the Roos. They load up right on 50. Goes to the square, and it's a goal. What a ripping goal from the Roos. They are up and about in this top of the table clash at Blunston Arena. This margin now is 30 points. Homer. The van is paid. Homer to Couch. Couch eyes goal. He gets a decent piece of it and it's through the middle. So that is just what they were after. North Lonnie with a quick reply and it's that man again, Tom Couch. He's fifth of the day. And the ball's still alive though and goes and great mark out in front by the Roos. And the mark taken, I think, by Blackburn. By Blackburn. So what a grab out in front. Big jukes. So Blackburn lining up. It's a high ball, but it's an okay ball. He splits the middle, and he likes it too. Look at the double cobra. <laughs> Look at the double cobra from Blackburn. He's happy about it. <laughs> and, oh, the kick's not a great one. It ends up in the hands of the Roos. They play on super quickly. Inside 50. Grace is there, but a great mark taken. I think it was Murphy Cohen. He's had a, a pretty handy game. He, he was actually uh, marked the last inside 50 entry for North Launceston when he pushed back into the defensive 50. He's always been a goal kicker at uh, the lower grades and lower levels. It should be easy for Co Murphy Cohen. Kicks it nicely, straight through the middle, and the Roos are on fire here at Blunston Arena. 36-point lead. Brady Jones... In the paint of 50, gets a good Ooh. piece of it, but it's offline and wide, oh. but it's to Siggins! He takes the clunk, Sammy Siggins, and he'll go back and look to put through his second. So Siggins goes around the right, splits the middle, and Clarence have pretty much won this football game now. 15th goal there for Siggins for the Roos 15th goal. 15-6, 96, 7-11, 53. That sort of thing happens. Lockhart comes through, falls for couch, he's curling, curling, curling. Not enough. He has. He's well, he has. Tell he's you what, it. it didn't look like it from this angle. That is a remarkable goal from Tom. How Hill. has that got back in? Another one for couch. Lockhart and Wade wall battle. It's punched clear by Whitford to event. He does well, evades one, nice goal, and finishes with a plum. Beautiful work from event. And they're off and away. Inside 50 again. Homer was there. Didn't judge the footy. But here's a chance at goal for North Launceston. And it is. Here they come. They are coming, North Launceston. They get another one in this final term. 11-14, 80 to 15-6, 96. The margin now just 16 points. And gets it immediately on the boot. It bounces up. Interesting bit of play here. It's through. It's through from Harper. And that might just be the sealer for Clarence. Harper with an opportunistic finish. And Clarence look likely to take all four points here at Blunston Arena.